Welcome to Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel. Today we're going to be talking about High CC Grooms Pet Grooming Gloves. This is going to be a two-part video. The first one's going to be about Ember and Cole here and giving them a little bath with these uh, dry wash bath, whatever you want to call it, bath with these pet grooming gloves. And then we're going to try their friends Shadow and Sky, the cats, and give them a wash too because as you know, cats don't get bathed very often. And I don't think these cats have been bathed ever. So we're gonna try it on them as well. So this is part one with Ember and Cole. We're gonna try these pet grooming gloves. So High CC Groom is a new pet care supply company. They offer pet owners an easy and lovely way to clean their pets. High CC Pet Groom pet grooming gloves are the first and only pet gloves in the United States and Canada, I guess as well, with antimicrobial and deodorizing technology. These pet grooming gloves are not only a great bath alternative to clean pets between trips to the groomer or bathtub, but they can be used as a microbiocide to prevent your pets from bacteria and skin infections. It will provide an easy dry wash for you to clean your pets and will make your pet healthier and happier. These pet grooming gloves have safe to lick ingredients that can effectively soothe itches. They are safe to use on or around skin, eyes, nose, ears, and mouth perfect for dogs with sensitive skin and skin allergies. They're non-toxic, non-irritant, non-residue. They're rinse-free, air-dry, and dispose of gloves after use. So in the description below, there will be a 10% discount code for you to enjoy. So let's get started. So we're gonna open the box and see what's inside. It says there's five packages. They also sent us this cute little, I guess it was a Christmas promo, a little hat, Christmas Santa hat, and a little scarf, and then some stickers. Uh, so it's a it, the grooming box. The box here has dog on one side and on the other, so the gloves can be used for cat or dog. And then you can also flip the gloves, so you can use them one way and then turn them to the other hand, and you can use the other side to clean them. I would recommend first. I think for a cat, it probably wouldn't matter, but for the dogs, I would brush with a steel comb, just brush everything through. Especially these long-haired dogs, you don't want to be making creating mats or making mats that they have worse. So they really should be combed through before you do that, just like a groomer would do with the groomers. And then it claims just to massage the wet packet inside. We'll read the directions here. I'll get those open and we'll read and see what they say. So we thought we would try the high CC grooming gloves here when it's spring. So it's really muddy. If you can see in the backyard, I have lost all the snow yet and every ground is dirt. And they're constantly bringing in brown muddy feet and they're ready for a haircut both of them they're dirty they haven't been bathed or had a haircut since valentine's day so early february probably the beginning of february so they're dirty dogs and they're very hairy which they're going to get the haircut soon but i thought i would try this first and then i'll give them their haircut all right you guys ready you want to see a dirty paw ember just came in and put muddy paws and i washed them off the floor it's not too clean but it's not too dirty what do your feet look like Yours are the dirtiest. Look at those feet. Whoa. Oh, they're pretty dirty. All right, let's get started. So the directions are on the side of the package here. It says, use instructions. Press upper part to relieve the essence of the wet into, onto the whole glove. So squeeze, then tear open. Put the gloves on. Wear gloves and wipe pet hair in the opposite direction of hair growth. Suggested wiping orders. Face, neck, back, stomach, legs. And then you can turn the gloves inside out and for a second use. Or if needed, dispose of after use. Dry, no need to, hair, to use the hair dryer after use. Air dry by pet self licking. That's what we're going to give it a try. We're going to open the box now and give that a try. So here's the box. There's five little bags stuck in here. So that'll take us for a while, or at least I'm going to try to use one package on both dogs. If that doesn't work, I'll open a second package and hopefully two cats can be done on one bag. I would think so. So one side has dog, one side has cat, and now we're going to try opening them. So here's the package. Here's the liquid down here. And here are the hand wipes. It's supposed to be non-scented. I'm trying to get it through there. It's going in now. I think. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it is. Maybe this way more. Looks like there's little holes right in here to mix through. So far, it's not mixing through. There, it's coming now. As I get forceful. <laughs> what is it, Amber? Okay, so I'm massaging it in. We're going to open the package in a minute. I think I've got all the wet in. There's a nice tear line. 
right here. You can use. I'm gonna see if there's still some liquid in it for the gloves to soak up, then I'll. Here, I'm gonna push my sleeves up. Oh, isn't she beautiful, like Lily? These are quite heavy duty gloves. There, they're all wet, but the light smell to them. So I'm gonna do both of their faces here on the chair and then we'll move them to the ground and we'll do their bodies. We'll put these on. I guess with their little tag, I can know I did open on, no, it doesn't really help me here. Okay, Amber, are you ready? I'm gonna massage your face. Okay, our dirty eyes. Amber has dirty eyes. Just to go against the hair. We're gonna do her lips here a bit. Amber gets dirty chin and dirty lips from the food that gets stuck in here. I'm even gonna do inside her ear a little bit, see what it does to her. That'll get dirty coming out. Uh-oh, we started with ears, Ember. Ember's gonna leave now. I'm gonna go against down the hair a little bit, against the ear flap here where her hair should be shaved. Could do that on both inside. Good girl, mommy's being gentle there. Down her for a bit under her chin. A gentle massaging curl. The chest a little bit. Getting some hair, not too much dirt yet. Get her neck. Your face a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna move Ember to the floor and then we'll come back and do coal in a minute. Okay, right, I'm just gonna do her back here. So I'm just gonna go nice massage. Get her back coat. Then I'm gonna smooth it back down because I don't want her back coat flying up the wrong way. I'm gonna do her tummy, under her tummy. I'm going to even do under her tail here since I've done her face. Do her little bum. On her skirt here. And her legs. Get both legs. All right, now we're going to do feet. We'll do her legs as well. Maybe before I do her feet, I should have done her leg here. This one, I can use a different glove. And I'll do her foot again. I'll get some of the yard dirt off. Use the back of this glove a little bit since I didn't. Pretty quick little bath and there really is no smell to it. Smells very nice. There's some dirt here, see so stuck in here. I'll try to get more out here. here. A little bit, I don't wanna spread the dirty paws around. How do you feel, Ember? I'll let Emma go have a little shake. So here are my gloves. There is quite a bit of dirt on my gloves. Over here. <laughs> so you can see the gloves, that's fine. You can see the gloves. They've had a nice wear to them. I won't be able to use these over again, but this side still looks good. So I'm gonna use this on Cole. And then they've got two dogs with one use of the gloves. So we're gonna go and do his face now. So I'm gonna flip my gloves here, change hands the dirty side on the back. It is quite dirty. It's definitely not as white and with some long hair stuck to it. Cole says, where's his cookie? I'm going to do Cole's face, his face around his eyes. I'm going to do his lips, his neck. I'll do the back of his neck while I'm doing it under. You could do your chest a bit, eh? There we go. Do inside his ears. Cole may need an ear clean, so this will give him a little ear flap clean. Hey, Cole, you can rub on here. Maybe go get some of those cookies out of your ear. Where'd your girl go away? Oh, nice. Look at you. You're still a little bit wet, just like Ember was. Looks the same. I'm going to take his back and do him on the chair here. You can maybe pop down. We'll just rub his back a little bit to get some of the greasies off. You want to stand up on your chair? There we go. Good boy, get your bum. Get your legs. It's good with the two sides of the gloves because sometimes I actually kind of rub with the back of my hand as I'm doing this. Okay, we're going to do his feet. He has the dirtiest feet. I don't think it's gonna get all the mud out, but it's probably better than it was. Good boy. Your gloves are the dirtiest. Happened to them. Can you do this paw or no?
Okay, we're gonna do this foot here. And get your tummy. We'll do with the clean part of the mitts here, just at the, the wrist. Just give them a little extra clean in some places. So here are the dirty gloves after Ember and Cole. Cole's side was a lot dirtier. He, uh, certainly the longer hair makes a big difference and that's where we got it, his feet and his bum and his, all of his stuff. Uh, it only took me about maybe five minutes per dog. The two total of them were definitely under 10 minutes, even six, seven minutes. It will take them a little bit to dry. They're not super wet. Ember's head is a little bit wet here, I think where we started and Cole too. But the rest of his fur just kind of got a nice dry shampoo wash. He didn't get too wet. I don't think he'll be very long to dry. But uh, I'm going to throw these gloves out right now for sure. This is a one use for the two of them. But that was good enough. I don't think I needed a second pack to wash them separately. We will be back in a few minutes. We'll give them a little brush and uh, a few minutes to dry. And then we'll come back with our review on the High CC Pet Grooming Gloves. Right, guys? I don't think you minded them, though. You didn't hide too bad. After having your ears even cleaned with them a little bit, I think they'll be good for your ears. You both were very good dogs. You get a nice little treat. Here you go, Cole. Good boy. Okay, we'll be back in a few seconds. Just a quick side note. I brought a towel just in case we needed it, but there was no drip. There was no wet dripping on my floor. There was no residue of any sort unless I put the glove directly to the floor. The wet got on the dogs. Um, there was no dripping mess. It was a mess free, um, clean, totally the whole thing with the dogs and just their air drying hair. Um, it's no fuss, no mess. It's a great, great substitute to bath or in between bathings for sure. So I just wanted to show you, I should have done this before with Emma Cole, but look at Cole's glisten and gleam. He's very clean. He was kind of a dusty color before and not looking clean. This was just from a bit of wiping that stuff through, even his head here where I've done it. He's glossy and glistening. Hi, buddy. And Ember too, she was looking dusty and I knew she needed a bath because her hair just didn't look normal and even flat, it's flat down to her sides like I like to keep it, which is falling nicer now that her back is dried. So I would definitely use this. I think the dogs enjoyed it. That was way better than a bath and a towel and an hour at least doing all that stuff and hair drying and stuff, right guys? Yep. Ember, what did you think? What did you think? Did you like it? You like the grooming gloves? I think we all like the grooming gloves. I definitely wouldn't replace my bath, but in between baths is what they suggest. I would definitely uh, use these gloves. I don't think just Muddy Paws justifies enough, but every couple of weeks I, I will use them to give them a little clean when they've been out playing in the leaves and they're dusty and dirty and all that sort of stuff. We're going to keep using them. I, it's taking the only part that isn't dry right now are their ears. Their chests are done. Ember's leg is a teeny bit wet. She went and licked herself a bit cool. Hasn't had a chance to do that yet, but both of them thoroughly enjoyed it and they both definitely smell better. They're never very dirty, these guys smelling wise, but Ember, he smells nice and clean. There's no perfumey smell or anything like that. It's just a lovely, clean, clean dog. No wet dog off of that wet dog spell you get in the house. Cole is drooling right now because he wants more cookies. Aren't you? Yeah, you kind of gross when you do that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel channel and Hi CC Groom for providing us with these lovely grooming gloves, which we'll be definitely using more of. And we're going to do part two with cats, the grooming gloves, and seeing how the cats do with the, with the grooming gloves. I'm sure they will look much better because they have never had a bath and they're three and two. Um, so that would be definitely really helpful for them. But thank you so much. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.